y'all, listen, open door. Listen, God is about to open a door for you. And guess what? That door will never be closed to you ever again. God said, whatever he blessed, can't nobody curse it. It reminds me of how God put the key on Eliakim's shoulder. He said, whatever door you open, no man will be able to shut it. And whatever door you shut, no man will be able to open. Well, listen, let me tell y'all this. God is about to open some doors to you that the enemy has um, become an adversary to block you from going through to getting what God has called you to be doing half. This is what God showed me. God showed me a gate. And that gate looked like prison doors. That's how I knew it was something that was put up with the enemy. Put up by the enemy to keep one out of. Okay? And so what I did, I walked up to this gate, which looked like prison doors. Walked up to it and God said, turn the knob to the right. And I would say, turn it to the right. I said, well, no, I'm not turning it to the left. I want to open. And God said, turn it to the right. And sure enough, I turned the knob to the right. And it unlocked the door, y'all. It unlocked the door, okay? But as the doors began to open, because it was like an automatic thing. As soon as I turned to the right, the doors began to open automatically. But then they began to close again. They began to close again, y'all. And so what happened as I saw them closing again, I saw the latch. It's a hook, right? That keeps the doors locked. God allowed that hook, hook to get in between the two doors that were trying to close and God broke broke the hook that caused the doors to lock. And when I saw that, I realized, oh, this door can't ever be locked again. And sure enough, the door was open and you know what your girl did, walked on in. And I want to tell you that you might have been in a place where you prayed and asked God for something. You've been asking God to do some certain things in your life and it seemed as if the door was open but then it looked like it closed again. You better look again. You better look again because God is breaking the lock. Listen, God said, whatever he blessed, can no man curse. Whatever he bless, whatever he cursed, can no man bless. And God is saying today he is opening up the doors that you once thought that were closed. Those doors that the enemy put in front of you when you were moving forward. You said, I was making great stride. I don't know what happened. I tell you what happened. The enemy happened. What did God say? God says what? I opened up a door, an effectual door, and what? But there are many adversaries, which means what? When God has already opened a door for you, the enemy is going to come because the enemy knows that he cannot stop the hand of God, but he can hinder you. So I'm here to tell you that God is saying that that lock is going to be broken. This door will not be closing your face. Maybe you've gone to the bank to get... um to get a loan. I don't know what you've done. I don't know if you went to school, went back to college, and they said you don't apply. You can't get the line of credit you need. You're not going to have uh, financial aid. I don't know what it is, but God does, and he is saying that this door is open for you. You will not be told no on this next go-round. The lock is broken. Whoever, whatever that was being used by the enemy to stop and block you, listen, God is saying it's over. There is no latch anymore. There's nothing to hook on to lock the door. It's yours. It's yours. I hope you believe this today. If you don't, then it will be you holding you up. You will become your own adversary, your own flesh. So I'm telling you what God is saying. He said he has opened the door for you. He has opened the door for you and he has indeed broken the lock. It could have been something dealing in your marriage where the enemy did not want your marriage to go forth to be prosperous. Maybe the enemy did not want your business to be prosperous. But I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this. That God is saying that he has given you a plan and it's one to prosper you and to give you an expected end. And when you walk through these doors, you're going to find that expected end. You're going to say, oh my God, I knew that it was going to be successful, but I had no idea. I had no idea that it would be like this. Y'all, I'm turning around because I see it's a roadblock down there. And I'm talking about the end of trying to stop. And I ain't finna get stopped. <laughs> I ain't finna get stopped on a roadblock down there because maybe there's an accident. But I know I got to go and work concessions for this volleyball game today and I don't want to be late. I'm supposed to be at 5 o'clock. It's right at 4.30 and um, I got about 30 minutes to get there. I think I could be 5 to 10 minutes late because it don't start at 5.30 but I, I, I think I'll be good. I'll be good. But listen, I just had to hop on here and tell y'all that the door is open. There is no more lock. Even if the enemy tries to lock the door again, he can't do it because God has broken the lock, okay? He's broken it. He's broken that thing broken into ashes then he broke it some more to knock which means they devil can't piece it back together you heard did you hear me did you heard me on the other day did you hear me on the other day but listen god bless you i hope you got it um i'll talk to y'all soon um yeah the door is open walk through it get that expected in
Y'all know what's coming next.